Ahem, ahem, and ahem. All right. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna try to make this kind of quick because uh, I don't want these leaf blowers in the background to get any type of shout out from me. So, hey, what's good? It's your boy JJ Say back in a good way. And uh, we're here today with a good gameplay of The Walking Dead, the Telltale series. I know it's old. I know it's old. I know. I know. I got a brain. But I've never played this series, only watched it. I want to experience it. And I decided I want y'all to come along with me. So you know what? We about to head in there. I'm dummy hype. To see my little girl Clementine. I, I can't I can't wait. I can't wait. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. The Walking Dead, the Telltale series definitive or oh shoot i read it wrong the walking dead the telltale definitive series ah ah title it's important had some slight difficulties going on took me about a couple minutes took y'all about a couple seconds but you know we here for it so anyway we hopping right in this to the menu screen now, I don't know if it's going to be like a point and click or if it's going to be like we have to use an actual keyboard to move around, but we'll see how it goes. By the way, while I was fixing this, the, uh, the leaf blowers done pulled up. They left for a bit, but they might come back. You might realize that I'm currently recording and want to come in for a shout out. But I'm wondering, should we do? I think we might. We might choose one song for each season or whenever we start up and hop in here. I like Clementine. Is her song good? We might make it situational. It might be situational. When I hear this, I'm thinking like something nasty is about to happen. Something, something real degenerate. Something disgusting. Either way. Damn, don't play this now. Get out of here. Clementine. No, I want I want happy. <laughs> I want <laughs> I want something good. Get that eerie shit out of here. Alright. Uh is it season select to start? It has to be season select. You're gonna select a season. What's wrong with you, Jay? Alright. Oh, look at Clementine. Oh. And it's Lee. Oh, is that Michonne? Michonne! That's the only character I remember from that uh, TV series. How it all started. As the world ends, Lee Everett looks for redemption and fights to protect the young Clementine. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. We chose the right song for this one. Look at her. She's so tiny. Got that little hat. Aw, play. All right, we hopping in. We hopping in. I'm scared to play this game, y'all. Like, low-key. I don't want to make the wrong decision and kill somebody. Just off-screen them. Anyway, how y'all doing? It's a very long loading screen. Up here, never, never mind. I mean, still, how y'all doing? How y'all doing today? I hope y'all having a great one. Whenever this drops. Whatever day this drops on, I hope you're having a great one. I don't, I don't need settings, right? There's nothing that I could really, like, rock with. Everything should be set. Yes, you already know. Subtitles on. Detect selectables. Store notifications. Mouse sensitivity. I don't need graphics. Everything on 10. All right. It's fine. Hopefully this sounds good. Let me check. Um, standard, more help from UI and feedback when you make important choices. Minimal, turn off UI hints, help, and choice notification. We doing standard. I low-key remember her. No, I don't. Yes, I know I don't. She had the gun. I don't know. 
I don't know. We we just gonna play. Does it let me actually choose episode? It does. Nope. We're going from from the beginning. When Lee is in the car. I think Lee starts off in the car. I ain't quite sure. Say again. How y'all doing? <laughs> I hope y'all day is going pretty nice. Mine is kind of is too. This game series adapts to the choices you make. Story something, 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 something. Basically, if you mess up, you mess up your life. The time that I watched this, I think I only seen up to the ending of season one. So season two is like something brand new. Episode one, a new day. Yeah, we in the back of the police car. Yeah, we did something bad. We some bad peoples. What we did, I don't know. Damn, that police officer ugly. You ain't gotta do all that. You know dang well you should be looking at what's behind on the street. You wanna sit down and look at me. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. I reckon too. Oh, shoot. The timer going? Why would you say that? Uh, you know what they say about reckoning. Uh, doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Nah, not much. Doesn't really matter. 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 Nah, not much. <clears throat> you know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Oh, shoot. It's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Uh, and what do you say? Not for me. Every time? And what, and do, what you do you say? say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. So it is with Mouse. Talk of the Rivian, no? I followed your case a little bit. You being a Macon boy and all. Oh, who? You're from Macon there. So you've got an option? What do you think? You're from Macon then. Yep, came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case, like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in, with all due respect. I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. Your chin kind of strong, yeah, bro. My whole family used to be regular to Look at that thing. Store right in downtown. Ah, right, damn. Is sure. my chin that strong? Shit. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? My chin not that strong, bro. You meet your wife in Athens? He's something special. Oh, my wife gone? You know how I see it? Man, you know what? Not really. Not really. Well, too bad. My car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. We mad. That's what we is. That's our disposition right now. We pissed. Regardless. Could be you just married the wrong woman. Hey, boy. Don't talk about my my lady. Could be I did. I wish you married the wrong guy. Buck you. Yep, there you go. Buck, Buck you. All right. Oh, we couldn't say it. Man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow. Big, soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. So my thing is. Right says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where he over head. here talking all this stuff, right? But it's like all this yeah, stuff is going on on the other, the other side of the street. Of the seat, like, like a fussy baby on and he's not plane. wondering about it. Tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man, maybe he was innocent. So did he do it? So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. Murder he bloody. He believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit Boy, if you don't look at the street. So. This other time. I 
ain't never been in a car crash like that before, but uh, that man's just going crazy in that front seat. I ain't have no seatbelt on, so I just flew. I know they ain't breached in the front seat already and took old man's out. Come on, Lee. We about to die. <coughs> Thursday. Fuck. My leg. They done dragged the man out. Look at look at him. Look at him legs. Look at him's legs. He already turning. Hey. Hey officer. Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here. I won't be screaming. But then again, it's like the beginning of the apocalypse and he don't know nothing. I wouldn't know nothing either. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Why the hell did he have his gun? You see where, how, how he looked? You see how, I mean, well, when you think about it, he could have flew through the windshield and ended up over. Nah, you see these little skid marks? Nah, somebody dragged him out. You know why he had that gun out. What do I do, though? Oh. It's supposed to be three times a charm. Four times a charm. Oh, you want to be different? I need to drag oh, myself up. Now move window. forward. Move toward the window using W. Oh, so we are using both. Aw, oh, damn. I gotta do numbers? Nah. Let me look first. Look. Look. I need to drag myself out that window. I can't look. Wait. We gotta do it use the mouse wheel. The numbers one and two. Does it pop up now? Climb me out the window. Okay. Ah. Ugh. Ugh. Why it sound like that? Move forward along the car. Got you. Got you. Getting the controls right. Let me get that, let me get that shot into the body. Cause we ain't safe around here. Or actually, maybe I should go get him for, give me that shell first. Let me get that shell. You know dang well your left leg don't gotta sound like that going down. I can only look at the, the shotgun. shotgun is over there. I can see that. Hey, before you turn, let me get them keys up off you, dog. Officer? Officer? Let me get the, get, get the keys. Bump the officer. He got flies around him. He been dead for a minute. Shit. Why I gotta be by his muff? Why am I scared to grab the keys? <gasps> And buy his muff. No, for no, for no, for real though, for real though. Why was I scared to grab the keys from buy his muff? If he already gone, and I don't know nothing about zombies. Tension for nothing. Unlock this. Unlock the. I gotta do it for you. Damn, Lee, turn around, go get the, uh, Officer. go get the shoddy. Uh, 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 holy shit. I was already holding back. I don't gotta look at him. Where the shotgun at? Get, get the shoddy. Yeah, that's why we got the shell. That Lee, you a little screw up right now. You gotta chill out with all that. Go ahead. Hello? My mouse is 
<laughs> My mouse is stuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hey, I'm restarting the game anyway, so it don't matter. Y'all get to see the first death. Look at that. GG's, that's game. All right, y'all. Uh. Looks like that's the end of the gameplay. I'll see y'all in the next video. All right. Officer? Holy shit. I still can't believe that my mouse got stuck on the other screen. And as soon as I was able to get it back. Alright, I'm gonna be careful on this one. Chill out. Get that, please. Mouse, you gotta chill. Son, what the fuck? Why is it doing that? Oh my, wait, hold on. We might actually have a little screw up here. <sighs> is there another way to aim this shotgun other than with the mouse? Because it automatically puts my mouse on this screen. And then I can't do nothing. When I come back here... Okay. Alright. I can right click back on the game. Okay, that's good to know. Instead of left clicking and wasting the shot. If it's going to do that for every single moment that happens, that's crazy. This kid's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? Let me know if y'all will have the same exact reaction. <gasps> Clementine! I never knew that you would be over there just watching from over yonder. That's why your music started playing. What's, what else is around me? Nothing. Come to time. Help! Go get someone! No, don't let her go get someone. Been a shooting. Don't do that. You, you, you. Protect that precious young girl with all your life. You do not send her out to all these dead things. How you trip over the dead body? I thought she was black. I thought she was black. You were showing in some not black tendencies. You showing some not black tendencies, Lee. I don't know. I think you're, I think you. I don't know, man. I don't know. You fumbled the shell. You tripped over a dead body. You keep backing up into stuff. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, y'all go see what that is. Y'all y'all ain't worry about me no more. I don't understand why it's like 1,500 of y'all trying to come after the one little old me. You're going to bite me probably like three times. You're going to eat like a toenail. And then you're going to move on to somebody else. You're Hello? not even going to finish the job. Anybody? What's the point of trying to eat me? It's a waste of me. All right, we got to go to Clementine. Look at the... Look at sliding glass door. What else is there? Clementine's treehouse. Look at treehouse. And examine tea set. I need to heal. In the words of Widowmaker, heal me. Ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Nah, we're not going up there. We got the tea set. Oh, to go to uh, to go to leaf blowing brigade, trying to get a shot out. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Man, we leaving. You you're out of pocket. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. But boy, if you don't leave the damn Charles tea set alone. 
head ass. I wonder if anybody's home. Who's gonna go in? Just barge in. I wonder if anybody's home. I wonder if anybody's home. I might have to do it with uh, the the mouse wheel. Anybody home? The numbers ain't doing nothing. Anybody in there? Open it. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? That's a good warning. That's actually a good warning. I'm more so like if I was to be put in this predicament, I'd be quiet everywhere I go. I'm not trying to alert. Nothing. Ah. Nothing. I ain't trying to alert. But if you're going into a home, it's actually good to let people know you coming in you're not here to intrude you're not here to hurt nobody you're just trying to get away from whatever it is that's going on on the outside she drew a unicorn oh she's so talented too bad at this point in time i don't think art's gonna help nobody What was that? Is that a voice mail? Oh. Oh, well, it's time to leave. This is also another thing. If I see a pool of blood, I'm out. Jeez. Oh, I'm straight out. There was something that made a that. Oh, that I got deep? you. Leave it. You mm, mm, almost said some things. Again, Lee, I thought you was black. Oh, dang, that's a lot of stuff to look through. Okay. Can we loot? It's a note. Mm, Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Also, her parents were gone. Open a drawer. Let me get that walkie-talkie. Is there another? Is there another one? There ain't nothing down there. Open cabinet. What you mean? It's already open. This Close. place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. There are three new messages. I ain't asking you for that. I don't care how many messages there are. They're not my messages. Why would I go through them? What ain't for me ain't for me. Let me get that water. Remember, I was thirsty. Thirsty. <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> That's the first thing he thought after the car wreck. Oh, making good. I'm thirsty. Oh, there they go. Are they picking up? Hold up. I'm a little confused. One second. I don't confuse myself. Oh, is my mouse locked in here now? Let's go. You gonna slip on the blood again? Slip on the blood again. Do -do 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 -do. Things will never be the same. Do -do 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 I slip on the blood again. Jesus. TV on, right? Turn it off. It's on input one. Cable's out, but it's on input one Lee. You gotta you gotta push the this is a fat back TV. You gotta push the button to see if it'll go to input two. And then back to TV. You can't just say the uh, cables out. You don't know that. Deserted. What the hell? God, that kid lived here. Clementine, 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 Clementine. Maybe there's something on there. All right, I did say what ain't for me ain't for me, but I guess it's for me. Sandra, this is Diana. We're still 
still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. <coughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Ed about to clap some stuff off of Sandra, and it's more than some cheeks. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Ooh. Please let me know that you're safe. I low-key got some chills when the music came in. I'm not going to lie to you. 651. Oh no. You can hear this. Call the police. That's 911. Oh, she had to tell her. Oh. We love you. Oh. That's so sad. Coming time. I'm your new daddy. Oh, snap. What the? Hello? You need to be quiet. How's she gonna pull up on the 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 uh the, the thingy talking about some daddy? And then when I say hello, she's like, you need to be quiet. I'm not a monster. Who is this? Who is this? She said, are you okay, actually? This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. I surely ain't. No, I'm not. But I will be a father figure to you. I protect you with my whole heart. Where are your parents? I know where they at. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh... I'm about... Seven. I was gonna okay. say 45. He said, okay. Where are your parents? <laughs> they took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Oh, Where's is Sandra still in here? I just peeped. Are you safe? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. Very smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Hi, Clementine. <laughs> there goes Sandra. Hey, girl, get off me. Oh, is that you? And an E, okay. Get off me, Sandra. Slip. Yep, that's right. I'm not black. Beach. You are nowhere near me, but my foot is elongated like Zenyatta. Beach. Hey, Clementine got down here kind of quick. Beach. Look at that. Look how scary she is. Get off me, woman. Get off me, woman. Get off me, woman. Woman. Oh. Ew. Ew. She ain't got no nose. I'm a married man, Sandra. Man. You don't do that to a married man. That's what happens. Did Hi, you kill it? Move from that blood, Clementine. I don't know. I think so. Something else did. I'm going to say yes. yes. I, I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so, too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. Oh, that's right. I gotta I be careful with, like, home now. my answers to Clementine. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look. Oh. I don't know Aww. what happened, but I'll look after you until then. My knee is all in the blood and whatnot. It's disgusting. What should we do now? I have an open wound on my right leg and it's in the blood. Look for help before it gets dark. Get out of here once the sun goes down. This is a terrible option. Look for help before we it gets dark. Find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. 
You're so smart. You already know that. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I got to hold the hand. Clementine. Let me know what y'all would do in this situation, cuz. I don't know, man. I got some different routes. Different routes, you know, like just getting caught up immediately and just saying GG's. I need to dress this wound. Oh, good. It wasn't my knee. So my knee was in the blood, but I have a wound on my thigh. Smart thinking, we. You always gotta take the knee approach whenever you wanna meet with a, a person smaller than you. Oh, man. Especially if they're younger. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. Mama. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Is who? Hog dish. You ain't got no chin. Hog dish night? That sounds different. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? Should I stay or should I, I go? I sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Your parents ain't never coming home, but I'm not going to tell you that. I won't leave you alone. They won't. Let's go. I won't uh, leave you alone. No, I just won't leave you alone. That's all. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. I won't leave you alone. I'm not going to tell you they're not going to come back. I still got to treat you like a, like a baby. You're eight years old. Look hey, how man. small you are. Holy shit. Don't eat us. Don't need us. Don't need us. What are you doing? What's going on? We're looking for help. Wow. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. Do you see we got a, we got our like have some type of relation. You could say that. You know? I'm Sean. Before we start Sean getting Ray. into the nitty and gritty. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. Hi, Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. That ain't my daughter? Okay. Yeah. Her babysitter, a neighbor, just some guy. Let's keep just it real. Some just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. We'll keep She's it real. Alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. I'm just some guy. Do? I... Your monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Yep, see? Gotta be quiet. Yep. Yup. Ooh, In the words of Patrick Star. Ooh, Not Clementine's helping too. That's so adorable. Oh, we ain't gotta do one more. Why you get into the? Oh, that's crazy! You're a brave one, Chet. For just some guy, it seems like you've saved a bunch of lives today, bro. This is the only one. I was in the back of a cop car, but you ain't gotta know that. You ain't gotta know the crimes I committed before the apocalypse. The apocalypse. We are reborn. We are new people. This music is trippy. All right, where we going? We're heading to a farm. Yes, we are. It's about to be uh some real kooky stuff happening over here. Off of every horror movie that I've seen, farms are never safe. You guys are like run on home villages but smaller man i'll catch you tomorrow night y'all have like a a, a hive nice mind to meet you both not in real life i i i i i ain't, ain't, ain't talking about y'all i'm talking about movies in real life i think a, okay. i think a farm would be fire i'm not gonna lie to you it'd be bad here too you got some acres of land past couple days you got some animals down the way, i think some mares gone lame but that ain't nothing new you got some no, veggie tables well, I'm glad you took him with you then. What's his name? I was talking. Guests. Um, your boy's a lot safer. 
You need to play your sing. Then he's gonna, eh. boys a lifesaver. I'm gonna compliment yeah, first. Help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then. No, not my daughter. Not his daughter. He's well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? You could be on. You could be honest, yes. Clementine. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Cause it don't matter. They ain't never gonna take you from me. Yeah, it's not doing so good. I'm protecting I you. Help you out, Sean. Run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch, and I'll go see what I have. Thank you. That's some. That's some warm hospitality. That you got right there, good sir. Let's have a look. <clears throat> yeah. Now here's the part so where the hell. if you have beef with me, you it hurts like hell. It's not too bad. Could be worse. It could, it be, could worse. be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? I ain't never said what my name was. It's, it's Lee. Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. What up, Herschel? But yeah, this is the part where if you had some beef with me, happen? you would just tighten. I fail. Car accident. Jump on a fence. Carry remember. Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? I was heading to Alabama. Uh, home. Just out. Out of Atlanta. Home. home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? We? The girl. You shouldn't have said we. No. You said we. I was with a police, police officer. officer. You, you, you. He's giving me a ride. You done awful nice of him. You done I'm an awful nice said some stuff. You shouldn't have said we mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. Stop what saying daughter. I just said that's not my daughter. What's your name, darling? Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Clementine. Looking after her until we uh, find her parents. If her parents still yeah. alive, but I doubt so it. So I'm thinking first thing tomorrow. We gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit oh. in the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. He said the big word. The son is right. I don't worry too much. Nah, your, your son, son is right. right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, Bro, I'm serious. It's Please, the world. Come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. A man got run over, dead car crawling on the ground, dead people walking. I got chased by a couple of dead people. That one should be more do what you think viable. You we got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it, really. Because at least I us saying that we got okay. chased by a couple dead people, well, it's more here. than one. It, start to feel better tomorrow. it ain't just a police okay. officer. It ain't just You're a young lady that we done smashed the head through. Down. You're probably dealing with an infection. It's a couple. Yeah, you probably got an infection. We'll probably just have to shoot you. Look at Clementine. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. You don't make that joke okay. around Clementine. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. Are we going to Macon still? Okay. I think when it comes to stuff like oh, this, right. if I want to survive... I would not go to the city. The city is a trap. It smells like poo poo manure. I know what it smells like. Duty. Duty. That's hilarious. Poo poo. I miss my mom and dad. I know. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Where's Savannah? Ain't Savannah in like Georgia? This girl fall asleep with her oh with her uh eyes ninety percent closed. You know you met them people before. They go to sleep and their eyes just be open at the very bottom. He got up and screamed, and I immediately thought about the uh, the mask when you get the mask and crash Madikoot. He get up and screamed as Udubaga. Hey, get up! Hey, I remember your face. I'm itchy. Well, you slept I'm in a itchy. barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. 
But I bet your daddy scared him all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Why did you mess with Clementine like that, man? What up, Kenny? Look at this happy little kid. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Dodging or quacking? Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? <laughs> the word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I feel that. Show us like mom. Maybe let's see who turns out. I'll ask her. I'll see what the girl would like. Yes. Ah, gotta consult the missus. Of course. I understand. At all times. Uh, Duck, this is Lee. And uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clemmy. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Are you German? Well, we should get to work. Why well, you said that like that? Things can do out that. There. The faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. All right, yeah. kid. Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. Hey, Ducky, tractor? you got some cool. fat old Ducky ears, boy. Damn, you can hear a satellite crashing in space. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. I'm trying to pinpoint what your accent is. A dot. <laughs> I thought you about have such um pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. I thought about um that duck from Courage to Cow the Dog when he'd be like, a dock. No. That's courage when he has his mind controlled. Dock. Hey there, girls. Uh, you two actually look relaxed. What do you do? How was the city? Why am I asking them how was the city? They were from the city, huh? What do you do? I don't need to ask her. She's just sitting here doing nothing. You two actually look relaxed. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, um. She was? was that? It's easy. It's well, easy. Yeah. <laughs> you're such so a smarty. You're good. Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? You learn Clementine is a first grader. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people. Yeah. For some, just. Just yeah, it's it's it's, okay. it's rough. It's you don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Exactly. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Nope. You know why? Cause I was gonna go to jail. Things happen for a reason. This could all be providence. You know? No, that's a wrong. That's the wrong. You just answer never realize when something is happening to you what you're being given nah nah refreshing i'm sure it is but nah i wouldn't say nothing like that in all honesty kaja kaja kaj i'm gonna say kaja cat i'm gonna say cat what do you do what do you do when corpses aren't walking around I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except hey. with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. She from Florida, Florida. South Florida. The University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, <sighs> yeah, my mistake. I wasn't paying attention. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Hi, Clemmy. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Katya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Clementine. I ain't laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. Hold up, Ken. You got truck? It's not the most reliable pickup in the world. But it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Oh, need any help? How's your son doing? What's the plan? Need I was, any help? I was asking me any help first. No, 
I think I got it. Mm. Do you need any help? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, no kids. Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, son, What's doing? son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. <coughs> I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. I don't know about that, but you are a tough person. I believe you. You showed an interest in his family. Yes, I did. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, Boats can work. whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. It ain't. You know, Same. zombies can't swim, so... It's all good. It's all good. Can I change the camera view or is it? Oh no, it does it by itself. Okay. Low key Resident Evil style. Static. Alright, let me help with the fence. Decay! Hey, you know, the more I hear them say Lauderdale, the more I think about Lauderdale being a duck. You know how to drive it? Sure nope. don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> I'd be good too. What up, Ducky? How's hearing the satellites going? You know what they talking about? You can pick up radio waves. Sean's still working on that fence. Make sure you, hey Ducky, make sure you're on frequency six. All right, six. That's in. That's in between one and twelve. You'll be able to pick up multiple just from right there. What was I doing? Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. That boy, Ducky got Will Smith ears. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. I'm gonna leave him alone. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop badgering him. He looked like a badger. Right, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. I apologize. What am I? What? What am I to do? Oh, I gotta cycle. What up, How Ducky? You doing, duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. You sure are, buddy. I'm the foreman. Yes, you are. With your back, Sean. <laughs> uh, Ducky is actually incredible. Hey, Lee. It's popping. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. You said two length? I ain't gonna lie to you. Dad doesn't know how bad it is. Me and measurements? No, Terrible. I'm horrible at that. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Gotta do what you gotta do. Was the boy one of the walkers? He probably I don't even know. He was either probably attacking was. Or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. Oh, he never mind turned, then. Put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes and pulled the trigger. Make sure Ducky don't, don't hear you, see bro. Things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Of course. Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. I had to save Clementine. Well, I had to save myself too. I had to shoot one. Faster, poor girl's brains in. Whoa, uh, I couldn't do that. I'm, I'm trying to. This fence belt. I'm trying to yeah, avoid to any option of bringing inviting people in as a bigger threat. The cop up. out there. Y'all need to learn about yours? that. How's your family? Shoot, I wasn't paying attention. My parents are making my brother. I don't know my ex wife is. I'm, uh, not too close with my family. I picked that one because time was like moving really so, fast. They weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. They're probably in making. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Why I put the 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 saw down like that? Like I'm Thanks mad. Sure. Thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. 
I bet. He about to skewer me on that pitchfork. Cause farm people mentality. Movies, not real people. What up, Brody? They're gonna be looking all sad and whatnot. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Here you go, here you go, the questions. Got a ride, I was on my way out anyway. I was on my way out anyway. Timing of all this just happened to be right. You know about the, the uh, cop really though, so it's fine. Time for the supposed apocalypse. Yeah, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. Do you agree with that? I mean, yeah, that's true. To? Yes. Where's your family now? I don't parents, know. Wife, girlfriend? Got an ex-wife. Uh, parents aren't making. No wife anymore. No family. No wife. Uh, not anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Yep. Clementine, is it? That's my new family. On her? Yeah, I did. I was looking for help in the house. I was being attacked. She came to my rescue. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Mind your own business. If I was a mad person. I know who you are or what yeah. you did. But you better become a better liar and fast. What are you Let's talking about? Things don't get better back in the cities. Or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. So at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Ooh, what's happening? Go! I'll get my gun! Nah, Sean. Look if you don't back it up. Oh, never mind. I gotta make a choice. I gotta make a choice. Get Ducky. Bitch. I'm sorry, Sean. I like Sean much more than Ducky, too. But Ducky's a kid. He just ran. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I didn't know I was gonna get a choice immediately and I had to choose between Ducky and Sean. I would've saved Sean. But Ducky's a kid. Now he about to lose his mind. Yep, I know. Get the fuck out of here! Now we gotta go. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I panicked. I was worried about the little boy. I was worried about the boy. But you weren't worried about that. Please. Just go. He's mourning. Get out and never come back. I don't blame him. I ain't even know the tractor could turn on. I'm pretty upset by that. I'm pretty upset about I'm I'm pretty upset by that. <clears throat> Because logically, it could be like, you know, we could have Sean, we get the manpower, you know? We can, we can be a lot safer. Ducky is whatever. But the thing is, if I think like that, the same goes for Clementine. I refuse to think of Clementine in that way. Clementine is essential. She needs to be here. She's a bundle of, of joy. Oh man, that's rough. That's rough, yo. 
And uh, you know Ducky. Ducky, well, Ducky, one of those kids that before going. the apocalypse is going on, he had the leash on him. Cause he be moving too dang much. And he be doing too much. He be too extra. You know Ducky was going crazy on that tractor. He gonna start that thing up and then drive it on Sean's leg. And then not reverse. You drove forward, bro. Put it in reverse. Put it in reverse, Terry. Look at him. Spade. Look at him. his eyes. The boy is cracked. Hey there. You Don't friendly? say hey there. Bro. Run out of gas. Oh my gosh. See, this is what I mean, right? In the apocalypse, I'd be quiet. Why would I make noise for? <laughs> now look at it. The whole neighborhood woke up. Ducky about to get off screen already. Never mind. You got saved. Hey, look, it's old girl with a gun. That's just wild, man. I don't know. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. I mean, that's true. Worse, Big facts. Let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. You see a little boy too, boy. What is it? I, I have to pee. <laughs> yeah. I go out there again in a second. I bet you. Um. Will. You're a dumb, careless kid. Wait a minute, Clem. Yeah, just hold it. Just hold They've it for a bit. Kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You the asshole. She's not wrong. People. She's a leader. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a fly. She's not oh, wrong. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy we got to we got to calm bitch. One of them is bitten. We have to end this now. It said he wasn't oh, bitten. Damn, I thought it said he was bitten. I'm sorry. No, I didn't mean I to stay quiet. Like there's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bike Watch Clementine. Watch Clementine. Clementine went to go pee pee. Clementine went to go pee pee. She's by herself. What do we do about this guy? We gotta knock him out. Dad, That's all it is. Just a boy. Tim would do it. Kick his ass. Your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We'll get this kid out of here. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Big facts. Big facts. Somebody watch Clemmy. And you shut the fuck up. Clemmy went to go pee pee. And they will get in here. Clemmy went to go pee pee. Fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. Clemmy's in the corner somewhere. He's bitten. I'm worried. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed Never would have happened. Yo. State Air Force. Hey, Fuck next you. option, beating his ass, bro. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Don't kill him. Just, Please. just whoop his ass. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. The key's behind the counter. Probably. Don't do that, Lee. Hey, I'm not the bad guy. Go here. to Clemmy. Looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. Hey, you got the biggest mouth I ever seen. Son. All right, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Knock this guy out. Yes, sir. Oh, Bitch. Who that brother got knocked out? Grab me a school word. Oh, that brother's on the Stand 
on yours. You supposed to be Florida man can. L M F A O S M H. Couldn't be me though. Be easy, brother. Kenny, you ain't supposed to get knocked out in one hit like that. I told you to watch Kenny. Ain't no way. You fell and you're dizzy. You're dizzy. You're dizzy. Get your ass up. Oh, you turn him around to face you, dog. Oh, this nigga kind of hard. Hold up. Pause on that. Thank you, old girl. You, you're fine. You okay? You're good. Thank you. Just great. Thanks. At least you know to aim for the head. Uh, guys? Clem, remember, you protected her. Of course. That's Clemmy. Everybody down. Stay quiet. Pow! One to the head. Now you know he did. Now you know I'm playing. Like I'm playing a game. I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, oh, 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 uh, oh, uh, oh, look at that. Oh, heart attack. Uh, oh, my, uh, oh, my, uh, oh, uh, oh, my, uh. Was he the one bitten? I told him to calm them. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My Duh. Um, Nitro Duh. Pills? Yes. We We're told out. him to calm been down. To get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Mm. Behind the counter where the pills are. It's his heart. Duh, dummy. Through the office. We'll do it somehow. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. What you pressing me for? Wait a second. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. How do you know that's an office? Look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. Cause I got eyes. I can see. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon fast. Agreed. Are we downtown? Oh, disgusting. Motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You gonna need somebody? You're insane. That'd be great. You know your way around town. You know your way around, local? Born and raised. Hey. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And what I'm up, Carl. Doug? Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. Yeah, Carly got to stay with us. Now get him those pills. Man, bump him. The hell? Talking about some get him those pills. So, my whole thing is, right, and that whole little altercation, I said I did try to tell him to keep quiet. He's talking about some shut it, asshole. He's got a heart attack. Like, duh, what do you think happens? When your blood pressure is raised at 100 24 7 you're gonna catch a heart attack you're gonna drop to the floor you're gonna be like rah, 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 and you're gonna damn near die let me get the energy bar shoplifting carly carly ain't doing nothing and then my thing about you carly you saved me twice twice that's two times that's one more time more than once I'm cool with that. That's dope. But why are you pressing me about me knowing what an office looked like? You never seen the office before? We definitely had lives before the apocalypse happened. I'm pretty sure you've seen with your own eyes what an office looks like. Make an educated guess, buddy. Hey, the IT guy. Doug, Doug, you're a part of IT? Hold up. What up, Doug? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? I surely don't. Not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Uh, um, no. 
Let's have a look around. No. Why would I do that? If I go out there, of course there's a gate. But if I go there, they're going to see me. And if they see me, they're going to come back. Why would I do that? Think it for myself. Game wise, sure. wait, no bitches. Let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agree. I don't have to go out, dude. Jeez. I really don't. Why are we outside? This is what I mean. Why are we outside? We don't need to. We can push the door a bit, ajar, look out and peek. Dang, that's a lot of zombies. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm gonna do? Go back inside. Why would I? You know what? It ain't me. That's all. Again, if it was me, it would have been off rip. Ah. So Immediately, I'm not gonna have those stories of trying to like survive and whatnot. But we can do surveillance. That is one good thing. So there's a TV store over there. Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape. That's all I know. I will say though, if I had someone to protect, I would survive to the best of my ability. Get weapons. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. We got the lock. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him or us, huh? Oh, it's the pharmacist, the manager. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? He might. You're saying he might have the pharmacy keys. Yeah, he a manager, so yeah. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up. And... Shut up, Doug. <laughs> Shut up, Doug. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore. And died with keys in his pocket. Big facts. But it would take a lot of effort to make it safe. But that's a... Go out there and see if he has the keys. Yes, it would. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. I didn't see... Did it show his name? Can I, like, have that camera zoom in over there so I can see the name? Lee's brother! Nah. See, I never knew that. I never dang that's crazy we are in making this is where his family is that's his brother and oh my goodness that's that's wild I wouldn't be able to cope yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there yeah it didn't work um let me go back now it's a combination lock Sound like one of them was coming up behind me. We proved that that guy worked here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. Way easier said than done. I don't know what to do for that. What's this? Brick. Ah, I see. You take the brick, throw it over there. They go, and then run over there, and then I sneak out, or somebody with a better leg than me sneaks out, run over true that's still crazy though because like he's awake he's just waiting he's like hey man i'm pinned to the ground over here but if you pull up on me i'm gonna bite you let me let me let me let me mm, mm. if i take the brick will that will that actually do what i'm thinking that like that that whole play on play that i just did is gonna actually play out right now or I low key don't care about how he ended up here. He's an IT guy. Fuck it. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I 
I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. I know some folks here. I just ended up here. This didn't matter. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. It's my brother, but I don't want to tell you. Because I don't want you to get sentimental about it. I can't reach that brick. Okay, alright, we're going to go back inside then. No, go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. That was a really fast okay, bro. You know, you got to like, give it a couple seconds before you respond. Let's head back inside. You know, you might be right about that. Let's go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. I don't want to talk to you. Don't want to give you the energy. No, I don't, I don't want to talk to you, bro. I don't want to talk to you. Nah, man, you 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 made me sound like I'm sus. I don't appreciate that. Let me get the other energy bar. I'm giving that to I'm giving one to Clementine because Clementine deserves it. That's my little my little my little sweetie pie. Here you go. It's not much, but here you go. Here you go, Thank Clemmy you. Clam. You're welcome. Oh. You took care of Clementine. Of course I did. Clementine's all I got. My family is gone. It's unlimited energy bars around here that I'm gonna just pass on to. What you looking at, girl? Doing what I can to try and save your daddy. A little rat, punk. Examine the ATM. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Um, I have two two energy bars. I can't go down this way. Can I give her another one? No, I cannot. Let's talk about what happened. Hi. You okay? Anywhere from Clem? Can I get you anything? I just got her energy bar. Let me ask her. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. You want another one? Stable, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it wasn't much. <laughs> uh, no, Glenn. I'll see if I can find something else for you. Of course. I'm gonna give you the other one. You, you can get all the energy bars. We should get to know each other. You know, from, yeah, we should. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. You're gonna get one word of responses from a baby. It's, 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 it's low-key kind of weird. All right, hold up. Alright, no, it's low-key kind of weird to, like, run into people that, like, can't converse with kids. And it's only weird because I have a whole bunch of nieces and nephews, and, like, I'm mad used to, like, dealing with them. That talking to them ain't crazy. But watching this is, like, low-key cringy to see, like, this man that's never had an interaction with a child before, like, trying to communicate with this little eight-year-old. He talk about circumstances. She's smart, but like, what eight year old knows what circumstances is? Ask them how to spell soliloquy. They'll never get it. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. Okay. Okay. You want the other one? You, there's no option to give you the other one. You said you were still hungry. I got. Who are them things on me? And you can have both of them. Got the pills are in there. They surely are. I ain't giving you no dang food, lady. Over there ready to uh to uh chew my head off. And then the second your daddy go down, now you wanna you wanna be Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. You wanna be Oh, help my daddy! Help my daddy, help, help my daddy. My daddy needs help, daddy, please. Got the radio. All right, let me talk to Carly, and then we'll wrap it up. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Oh, you're a reporter. I got you. That's why you want to make everything sus. You handle yourself well. What are you working on? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Almost saying some vibes cartel. That is not appropriate. 
Let me check on the power button. Damn, rats. That just ain't work. Thought it would. Trying to replace Carly. You know, she is kind of pretty. Volume. Maybe it's turned down a bit. Oh, no. Never mind. The power's not on. Let me flip it over. You got any batteries back here? Let me, get, let me, let me check on them batteries. Ain't no batteries. There's no batteries in this thing. Damn, Carly. Right why you ain't just check the no batteries? batteries yeah, of course. This is Lee's yeah. intrusive thoughts. No. Carly, you a dummy. So. Why ain't just look for the batteries? Thanks. What's wrong with you? you? really know what to look for. Carly, you a goof. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there was another option to talk to Carly hey, about, right? Hey, Carly, I'm trying to spit game. You handle yourself well. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She I was am. an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you know that that's that's low key how it is for like actual people. They could be like woody buttholes, but they don't deserve to like pass away and stuff. The gate eaten. I'm looking for the battery survey. Now nah, we're just gonna look. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yup. Um, batteries, batteries, batteries. Looking for some batteries some green guards photograph it's my brother no i'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards i feel you i wouldn't have made that joke we can't let anything happen to ducky i know hon let me get them batteries just batteries sitting upright one battery sitting upright right here a good old double a is sitting right here and connie's like man to get back to i just Riverdale do our damnedest i should have i should have came to y'all like a while ago huh i really should have i'm a terrible person for not coming to y'all let me spit game right quick just hold it just hold it down for me hold it down for me i almost gave it up the energy bar i ain't trying to feed her thanks put it in the battery i mean put it in the battery put it in the camera I'm still looking for batteries for that. Thing. No, you. Thanks. I, I appreciate it. I gave her the bat. Put it in the camera. The there camera. You. Put it in the radio. I can't think straight. I'm looking for batteries for your radio. Should I have not given the batteries to her? It needs one, I believe. And I gave her the battery, and she's like, "Thanks," and then she just like ate the battery now i'm looking for another battery i better get back to it yep yep <sighs> as she like low-key burps after eating the battery now i gotta look for another there's no other one all right bro we're not getting a radio dog hey ducky there you go it's not much but here for the boy oh thanks lee no oh, problem man that's sweet lee i like ducky's freckles it's adorable Hey Lee, maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. Man, nah, screw no that. It was in the Says moment. The guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Lee, Kat, and I appreciate your support. Nah, man. I believe in that moment you're completely fine. I would have punched them. Now I would not have taken a hit back. I would have bobbed, and then weaved, and then gave him another one. But you know, you you know who you are. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Little kid. How's she doing? My little Clemmy. My little Clemmy. She's good, I think. Her family's dead. How should I know? She's good. I, I don't know if her She's family's dead. Right there. So She's I can't say that. Girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Not at all. What's the plan? She's special. Pretty tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Nah. 
I could tell them the truth. Yeah, I could tell them the truth. It'd be fine. This place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. Are you guys all right? Are you guys all right? <coughs> we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, poor you Duck. Got a second? Sure. I ain't gonna hold you. Now that Duck's not going crazy and don't gotta be on a leash no more, I'm kind of worried about him. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Uh, it happened pretty fast, pretty fast. But I ain't gonna hold yes. you, man. You you straight up. Stop seeing him in my head. You straight up kill us left. We killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You Maybe left. Could. Bad things happen. I tried. Didn't make a choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Yeah, console him, man. Go. You gotta let it go. I'm not gonna hold you. He gone already. It's painful, but hey, man, look. You save your child. That was some that that was crazy what you did, cause Sean still had time and you was like, I got my boy Ducky, bro. I'm out of here. That that was that was crazy. That was crazy. But you know, life it happens. Let me get the energy. I can get everybody an energy bar up in here. There's an energy bar everywhere. Open office. We ain't got the key. What is the time right now? It is a clean one hour and 21 minutes. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm at the end of right here. I'd low, I'd not even low key. I really want to keep playing. Cause I feel like we ain't even get that far, but yeah, man, there was some, some choices made. We actually had, well, not some, just one major choice between picking between Sean and Ducky. We chose Ducky. Uh, in actuality, bro, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, bump the kids, you know, you know what I'm saying? We gotta, uh, we gotta fortify our defenses. We gotta have, like, at least some, some, some strong people, man. Some people already around that age and whatnot, but I also can't think like that because we would have to get rid of Clementine if that's the case, if something happened. If something broke down, I had to choose between Clementine or Candy. I gotta... I gotta choose candy and let Clementine go. I can't do that, so. Ah, that's wild. But anyway, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. I'm gonna make this to a whole series because I'm actually psyched to play this and play the entirety from season one to season four. But I, right, man, see y'all on the next one. Deuces. How do I get out of here? That's how I get out of here. The last thing is for our auto saves. I can't even manually save this. That's fine. If I gotta do this like off camera, that'd be completely fine. Maybe this time I can give her the energy bar. If I can give her the energy bar, she won't eat the battery. If she won't eat the battery, we can get the radio working. Ah, there we go. So I do gotta feed you so you don't gulp down the battery. I got you, I got you. Look at how Lee is looking at her. Oh my God. <laughs> Lee is crazy. <laughs> Lee is wild.